In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a pit bull. Pit bulls are loving, loyal, and fantastic dogs, but if they're not trained correctly or given the time that they need, then pit bulls won't act the way they need to, and they'll only feed into the narrative that pit bulls aren't safe dogs, when that's not true at all. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. And in this video, we're going to share seven reasons why a pit bull may not be best for you and why you may look to another dog. So let's get the countdown started with number one. The first reason why a pit bull may not be best for you is because they do have exercise requirements. If you aren't able to get your pit bull out active for a walk, out playing fetch, then a pit bull may not be best for you. They don't like to be just left out in the backyard. They want to be with their owner, going on walks, playing fetch. And if you can do this, your pit bull will be happy and healthy. If you don't, they'll have a lot of pent up energy and can be destructive and even a little dangerous. So if you can get your dog out, a pit bull will be outstanding. But if you don't have the room, space, time, or energy to give them the exercise they need, a pit bull may not be best for you. The number two reason why a pit bull may not be best for you is because they need socialization. They need to be held by other people, they need to be around other dogs, they need to be in the car, go to the vet. They need to be around other people so that they're comfortable with other dogs and other people and they're not dangerous or afraid or unsure when they see them in the future. So if you don't have the ability to take them out, get them in front of other people and other dogs, a pit bull isn't right for you. They don't like to be sheltered in and just on their own. They want to be around other people and other dogs. And if you can do that, you'll have a happy, healthy life with your pit bull. At number three, these guys are strong willed, which means they need a strong leader. So if you're calm, confident, and have had dogs before, a pit bull will be great for you. But if it's your first time, maybe a pit bull's not best for you. If you're a first time owner, you may look to an easier dog but a pit bull strong willed, but they will follow and do what you want as the owner, as they want to please you and be around you. So if you've had dogs before, you know how to be a leader with dogs and you can handle strong willed dogs, then a pit bull will be great for you. The number four reason why a pit bull may not be best for you is because they need positive reinforcement. Pit bulls won't do well when you yell at them and tell them what they did wrong. Instead, tell them when they did something right and reward them with a treat. If you do this, it really plays into their docile nature, keeps them calm, happy, and healthy versus yelling at them and increasing the anxiety. And when they have increased anxiety, this is when they can lash out, be protective, and do bad behavior that we don't want to see in a pit bull. So if you can give your dog positive reinforcement, a pit bull will be perfect for you. But if you've never trained that way or not sure how to do that, maybe a pit bull isn't best for you. The number five reason why a pit bull may not be best for you is because you need to show calm, assertive leadership. You need to be calm around your pit bull. This always brings down the anxiety, brings down the stress in your dog as they are a direct reflection of your energy. And when you can do this, pit bulls are docile. They like to be relaxed, hang out. But if you're an anxious leader or you're someone with high anxiety that's going to make them anxious, then that's when they lash out. That's when they get nervous. That's when they try to protect you. And that's when the bad behavior comes out. It starts with you as the owner to be calm, assertive, confident, and lead your dog the way you should. If you can't do this, then a pit bull won't be best for you. At number six, pit bulls are fun and adventurous. They want to be with their owner, go wherever you're going. So whether that's in the car, going for a walk, a hike. So if you plan to get a pit bull, Make sure that you take them wherever you go. They want to go, they want to be with you, and it's great for them and great for you. It socializes the dog, gets them out, and creates that bond with you. But if you plan to leave your dog in a kennel all the time or leave them alone, it's just not going to work. Your pit bull wants to be with you no matter what adventure you're on. At number seven, it's your responsibility to help the pit bull reputation. So if you work with your pit bull, train your pit bull, and are able to spend time with your pit bull, you'll have a great dog that's great with other people, other dogs, and the pit bull reputation will only improve. If you're not serious about this, then you should not own a pit bull. Pit bull owners are serious about how well behaved pit bulls are and how they're gentle, 
big babies, and they're not the dangerous dogs that people think they are. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.